Imagine a world where HIV could be prevented with just one vaccine. Sounds amazing, right? But wait, is it the ultimate solution or does it come with its own set of challenges? In today's video, we're diving deep into the pros and cons of HIV vaccines to give you the full picture. Stick around because by the end of this video, you'll have all the info you need to decide if an HIV vaccine is a game changer or a work in progress. And before we start, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss our videos. If you're looking for quick, affordable, confidential HIV testing, visit HIVRNATestGuide.com. Now let's get into it. What is an HIV vaccine? First, let's break down what an HIV vaccine actually is. Unlike treatments that manage HIV in those already infected, an HIV vaccine aims to prevent the virus from taking hold in the first place. Think of it like the flu vaccine, but much more complex. There are also therapeutic vaccines being researched, designed to help those already living with HIV manage the virus more effectively. Here's the big challenge. HIV mutates rapidly and has multiple strains, making it difficult to develop a one-size-fits-all vaccine. Despite these hurdles, scientists around the globe are making incredible progress. For example, the mRNA technology used in COVID-19 vaccines is now being tested for HIV. It's an exciting time in the fight against this virus. The fight against HIV. To truly understand the importance of an HIV vaccine, let's take a quick look at the history of HIV and AIDS. The virus was first identified in the early 1980s and it quickly became a global epidemic. Millions of lives have been lost and millions more live with the virus today. Over the decades, we've seen breakthroughs in treatments like antiretroviral therapy, but prevention has always been the ultimate goal. An HIV vaccine represents hope for ending this epidemic once and for all. Pros of an HIV vaccine. Now, let's look at the pros of an HIV vaccine. Health benefits. The most obvious benefit is the potential to dramatically reduce HIV transmission rates. Imagine the impact on global health if fewer people contracted the virus every year. Vaccines could also offer long-term immunity which is a huge step forward compared to daily medications like PrEP. Two, global impact. Think about regions like Sub-Saharan Africa, where HIV continues to devastate communities. An effective vaccine could save millions of lives and reduce the stigma around HIV. It would also ease the financial burden on healthcare systems worldwide. Three, improved quality of life. For people in high-risk groups, an HIV vaccine provides a level of protection that brings peace of mind. You won't have to worry as much about exposure during everyday activities or relationships. These benefits show us the incredible potential of an HIV vaccine. But as with anything, there's another side to the coin. Cons of an HIV vaccine. All right, let's talk about the cons. Limited effectiveness. Unfortunately, current vaccine candidates don't offer 100% protection. Some trials have shown only partial efficacy meaning a vaccine might reduce the risk of HIV but not eliminate it entirely. Plus, different populations or virus strains could impact how well the vaccine works. Potential side effects. As with any vaccine, there's a risk of side effects. While most are mild, like soreness at the injection site, there's always a chance of more severe reactions. And since these vaccines are still in development, we don't fully know their long-term effects yet. Cost and accessibility. Developing and distributing an HIV vaccine will be expensive. Low-income regions, which are often hardest hit by HIV, may struggle to access the vaccine without significant global support. Public acceptance. Finally, there's the issue of vaccine hesitancy. Misinformation and cultural beliefs can make people wary of getting vaccinated, which could undermine the vaccine's success. Ethical considerations in HIV vaccine development. Developing an HIV vaccine also raises important ethical questions. Who gets access first? How do we ensure that clinical trials are conducted fairly and inclusively? And what about the affordability of the vaccine for low-income populations? These are complex issues that require global collaboration and a commitment to equity. Comparison, vaccine versus other prevention methods. How does an HIV vaccine stack up against other prevention methods? Let's compare. Right now, we have effective tools like PrEP, which, when taken daily, can reduce the risk of HIV by up to 99%. Condoms are another reliable method that also protect against other STDs. Regular testing is critical for early detection and treatment. 
An HIV vaccine wouldn't replace these methods. It would complement them. Think of it as adding another layer of protection to our arsenal against HIV. It's not a magic bullet, but it's a crucial step forward. The future of HIV vaccines. So what does the future hold? Scientists are working tirelessly to create a vaccine that overcomes the challenges we've discussed. For instance, recent trials using mRNA technology are showing promise. These vaccines could offer stronger and more targeted protection. There's also ongoing research into combination vaccines, which target multiple strains of HIV. And with global initiatives like the HIV Vaccine Trials Network, we're closer than ever to breakthroughs that could change millions of lives. The key is to support this research and stay informed. The future looks bright, but it's up to all of us to keep the momentum going. Addressing myths about HIV vaccines. Let's clear up some common myths about HIV vaccines. Myth number one, a vaccine would make other prevention methods unnecessary. That's false. A vaccine is an additional tool, not a replacement. Myth number two, vaccines can give you HIV. Again, absolutely false. HIV vaccines don't contain live or weakened HIV. By addressing these myths, we can help more people understand and trust the science behind vaccines. Hope for the good to happen soon. To wrap things up, we've explored the pros and cons of HIV vaccines. While there are challenges, the potential benefits make it an exciting and hopeful area of research. What do you think? Is an HIV vaccine worth the investment? Or should we focus on other prevention methods? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, regular testing is still the best way to stay informed about your health. Visit HIVRNATestGuy.com for quick, affordable, confidential HIV testing. Stay safe, stay informed, and thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. Remember, knowledge is power, and taking proactive steps can make all the difference. Until next time, stay informed, stay safe, and let's work towards a future without...